Hi, I'm Carl Brackpool, Product Manager and Head of Innovation for Hexagon Mining. Today we're going to talk about HXGN Mine Operate UG Pro, which is a real mouthful, so we'll just call it UG Pro for the demonstration. Today marks the launch of UG Pro after 10 years of development for this product, and we feel it's the most ambitious endeavor we've made into migrating for, from surface mining to underground mining. As you know, Hexagon has market dominance in pit mining, and a lot of those technologies can be repurposed in underground mining. And why are we doing this? We found most of the things that are close to the surface, those minerals and metals that we need, and it makes obvious sense to go after the things that are easiest to get through through pit mining. But as we need more copper wires and rare earth materials and things to power our iPhones, our devices, and eventually the wires inside the rocket ships to Mars, we're going to have to go after materials that are harder and harder to get to before we leave this planet and start looking at asteroid mining. UG Pro consists of two major modules, one for tracking miners and their activities underground, and the second piece is all around the machines themselves. We all envision a world where we're going to have fully autonomous mines with no humans underground. But until we have fully robotic autonomous machines extracting materials, we're going to be in that period of time where there are semi-autonomous machines operating in close proximity to humans. And to ensure that we have a safe mining operation, UG Pro is the most advanced piece of software to make sure those two things continue to work at their highest optimized level. So let's take a look. What I'm launching here is the administration screen. There are four desktop applications that are run at the surface of the mine. Administration for adding employees, adding machinery, and adding working locations underground. And they communicate with tablet-based applications in the miners' hands and on board the vehicles. This is really important. With, with or without communications, these tablets can still update their task level activities of completion, as well as tell the surface where the miners are. This frees up the miners to not be dependent on communications like radio-based communications for letting the surface know where they are, if they're having issues, uh, or they may not complete their tasks on time. And this is important, especially if you have up to three shifts working underground in 24-hour cycles. The second most important screen of all the screens and applications in UG Pro is the supervisor mode. The supervisor mode can be accomplished on the tablet. It can also be at the surface in the control room or dispatch center or a supervisor outside or working at any portion underground in the mine. As you see on the bottom here, we have icons for all of the different functions. We have uh, a two-dimensional mind map that shows the various levels underground where the workings are, are occurring. Those are the development phases or the production phases. Um, we have any alarms. There are no alarms because we're not connected to an underground mine today. Um, we can look at the shift lineups to determine who's working in that particular shift underground at any one time. And we can look at the tasks. And this is the most important screen uh, that we would look at. We would assign tasks like drilling 15 holes at a particular face, moving materials, blasting, cleaning up the space. These are where the tasks are identified on which piece of machinery they can occur and which operator is qualified to perform those tasks. And of course we have assignments. We can take tasks, we can move them around from operator to operator. We can take machines and move them around, and this is where we see the convergence between the fleet management system, that second piece I said was important, and the tasks themselves. If we have a piece of machinery that's down for maintenance, or a piece of machinery that's finished early with its particular functions, we can move it out of the way or move it to another heading and optimize that careful ballet underground. The last one is operations, and that gives you a total picture of the entire mine. We know right now which locations are being worked, which pieces of machinery are ready to be uh, moved to that particular location, and which operators are free to move up to their next position. You can change the state of any particular miner's tasks by sending them a notice from the surface to underground, and underground they can respond back to those tasks and even change their own tasks if they lose radio communication with the surface. It operates on a number of different communications mediums. 
As I said before, we're incredibly proud of the launch today of UG Pro. We see it completely changing the industry and we will equal our surface dominance and market share in underground in a very short amount of time.